Wake up, babe. Northrop Grumman just dropped the new unmanned underwater vehicle. It's called the Manta Ray. And it's called Manta Ray because it, well, looks like a Manta Ray, as you can see from this cool concept art that they dropped on their page. Just dropping hot fire on the page today. So check this video out. This is some concept video. So advancing UUV technology. We developed our unique full-scale demonstration vehicle while several novel design attributes that support the Defense Advanced Research Project Agencies vision of providing groundbreaking technology to create strategic surprise. Manta Ray is payload capable to support a variety of missions, autonomous without the need for on-site human logistics, energy saving with the ability to anchor to the seafloor and hibernate in a low power state, modular for easy shipment in five standard shipping containers to support expeditionary deployment and in-field assembly worldwide. That's pretty freaking cool. It says Northrop Grumman is developing, developing its unique full-scale demonstration vehicle using several novel design attributes that support DARPA's vision of providing groundbreaking technology to create strategic surprise. Manta Ray will be able to anchor to the seafloor in a low power state while harvesting energy from the environment like a solar panel. But I don't know what type of energy they would be harvesting. It's still pretty cool though. Manta Ray will have command, control, and communications capabilities to enable long-duration operations with minimal human supervision. The data from Manta Ray will help the joint force make better better decisions and gain advantage during missions. Manta Ray will provide payload capability from the sea, making it a critical component of subsea warfare and the DOD's joint all-domain command and control vision. That sounds pretty wild. DARPA was awarded phase two contracts to continue the Manta Ray program that began in 2020. So this is a program that's been going around for about four years now, and they just got phase two contracts, which means they got allotted a sum, a sum of money to continue their development of this project. The effort, seek, the effort seeks to demonstrate innovative technologies allowing payload-capable autonomous unmanned underwater vehicles, or UUVs, to operate on long-duration, long-range missions in ocean environments. The two prime contractors, Northrop Grumman Systems Corporation and Martin Defense Group, are each developing unique full-scale demonstration vehicles. Well, I'll tell you what, this thing looks freaking cool. And like the strategic advantage of being able to have something that's this advanced at our disposal huge. And I know that like every other nation on earth is probably developing and has probably already developed some things that are similar to this, but it won't be from Northrop Grumman. I will be, I for one will be interested to see how this thing turns out and maybe get to see a demonstration one day because that'd be cool.